All right, well, I'm setting up the studio. I figure I just like have a chat with whoever is dedicated enough to watch these videos. Most of these get like 10 views. So there's like nine people out there, because one of them's me, right? Uh, who watch these things. Some of them get more views. I feel like about one in six of them get more views than normal. I had one, one did pretty good last week. Oh, the one about my favorite, what was it? Favorite superhero movies, I think, got pretty good views. I don't remember. I don't remember. I think the last one that did really well was the um, Our Flag Means Death review. It did really well. I have a reaction video to Willow Smith that has like 10,000 views. And the rest of these videos get like 10 views. Uh, why do I think that is? I think it's a couple of things. I think the product is not good enough yet. Like I'm not good enough of a host. Uh, I think what I'm basically doing here is the equivalent of giving a PowerPoint presentation. I just think I'm not quite good at it enough, not practiced at it enough for it to be a compelling thing for people to watch who don't have like a personal reason to watch it. And that's kind of one of the reasons. Well, okay, that's one of the things I learned from running a website, man, is, is like once it's good, the algorithm picks it up. Like once you reach that level where the quality is there, I think the algorithm picks it up. And I think the quality is not there for these videos yet. And I think that's a couple of things. I think there is like me as a hosting personality, uh, which needs work. Like obviously I have a specific like cadence to the way that I speak that takes some getting used to. Um, and I'm a weird dude. I, it takes a while to like get to know me and what I'm about. And I have a really like trolly sense of humor. <laughs> and so it's very difficult to tell when I'm being serious and when I'm not being serious. Um, I don't know. I, part of me thinks like movies might not be the thing. But, and here's why, I think people's attention spans are getting lower. Like people are already talking about like movies are too long and it, things are getting more serialized and the internet is shifting more and more to content and movies are a form of content and long form content is kind of like becoming more and more of a niche thing. Like even in the realm of movies, there's a lot of people watch just like movie reaction videos which just like cut down highly edited clips of movies or like movie edits that takes like a two hour movie and like edit, edits all like the best scenes down. And so like there's a lot of that. There's a lot of just like long form content just getting cut down and you watch the movie but you're not really watching the actual like movie itself. You're watching content about the movie. Um, which is kind of the same thing that happened to books too, man. And if you think about it, it's like there's a lot of books people have read but what they have really done is they've like spark notes or in school or like read the Wikipedia for or watched the movie for or whatever. So those are like familiar with it, right? And we're starting to kind of see that with movies as well, you know. Um, but here's the thing though, <laughs> like I like movies. I like watching movies. Uh, there's a couple things about it. One is like my lifestyle as like I don't know, f fucking um, loner, shut in <laughs> hermit person who just fucking, I don't know, does things by himself all the time. Like, I like going to the movie theater. It gives like structure to my week. It gives me some like place to hang out. I think society needs more places to hang out. I think that's like severely lacking in our world right now. It's just like physical locations to hang out. And especially for me personally, because I live in a new city where I didn't know anyone. I don't have any connections here. Um, so like in my view as an adult, it was a lot easier. I've been thinking about this a lot, man. Like it was a lot easier to meet people um, in school or in college or grad school or even at work, uh, but now that I work online and by myself in a city where I don't know anybody, you have to make like this dedicated effort to go out and meet people. 
And so when you do that, it's like you don't meet a lot of people who are in the same I don't meet a lot of people who are in the same situation as me. Um, and I feel like like the only gathering places now are really bars, which is fine. I like bars a lot. I like bars plenty fine. The thing is, it's hard to do a bar without spending about $35 if you're just gonna like for like a hangout period. And you also become an alcoholic pretty quickly. Like I've had months, I shouldn't admit this on camera, but I've had months where just like, just from sheerly not paying attention, and it's not even like, it's not like an alcoholism thing, just it's like a money thing, it's just like, sheerly just from hanging out with people, where I just was like, I, did I really spend like $1,200 this month on bar tabs? Like what the fuck did I do? Uh, and so, <laughs> I. I wanted to put a stop to that. And so like movies is a good place to hang out. I actually like it a lot. I like that it's dead over there. Like I don't know if movie theaters are dead everywhere, but like it's a big part of uh I don't know. I I, I like it. It's a big complex. It feels like kind of like a ghost town. There's this strange appeal to that. Like when you look at articles about like, you know, the abandoned theme parks around Chernobyl and stuff, there's like this odd um alluring kind of quality to it it's like this solitudinal i don't even know if that's a word uh but, but this, this like palace of solitude kind of thing and there's like just enough people there that you don't feel like insane um and i think people who work in movie theaters are cool like and i like being more um i like making friends in that world i'm looking forward to it I'm, i already met some people who work at the movie theater just very briefly uh, but I'm that kind of person. I I tend to meet people. I know I don't seem that way. I'm really bad at maintaining friendships. I'm fucking horrible at the second part. I'm really good at meeting new people. I meet tons of people. But everything after that is questionable. Uh, oh, God. Um, What else, man? I'm not happy with the numbers for this channel. It's been a year. That's why I'm talking about this. It's like officially been a year now um, since I started like earnestly kind of like posting videos and trying to take this a little more seriously. And I have 265 subscribers, which I am on it. I'm very grateful for that. Actually, I think that's pretty good. You know, that's uh, I mean, obviously there are people on YouTube with millions of subscribers, but uh, you know, for me, who is not just, I'm just generally speaking, not like a, I'm an acquired taste at best. So like 265, that's pretty good. Most of those people came from the music reaction stuff. And like maybe, honestly, I'd probably be better off if I did the music stuff. I think music is like shifting more into the spotlights than movies right now, but uh, and I do love music. I make playlists all the time. I make playlists like pretty much every day, I realized recently. Um, yeah, because I'm always, I. Take them, I go on walks and stuff. I listen to music pretty much throughout the day, every day. But, um, I don't know. I like being in that movie world. Like, I, I like those people, man. Like, I, I want my film criticism to be... insightful and, and like quality. I want, it, I want it to deliver something to people. Because people actually do watch like movie criticism channels, right? Because they, you know, it's not just because of the personality, but they actually want like value delivered to them. And so, uh, you know, hopefully I can have the personality and the value. That would be, that'd be great. That'd be phenomenal if I could develop that skill. But when I look at, you know, like what the, um, what I would consider to be like the big channels for movie criticism, uh, like Jeremy Johns, Chris Stuckman, I think Amanda the Jedi is pretty big. That's another one I like. Um, Grace Randolph. Uh, when I look at those channels, I just think my videos are not as good <laughs> as them, right? So I need I need to keep practicing, you know. Um, and I'm a writer, you know. It's, so I in the process of doing this, like I'm trying to learn this skill of like. I don't know. It's like going from being a music producer to being on stage. Like it's, it's a very different 
kind of thing. And you can, if you go back and watch my videos, you can see me developing and developing like this persona and even like this amount of comfort um, talking to a camera. When I first started doing this, like it was so awkward to talk to a camera and now it's like, I don't know, I think I could just, <laughs> just wing it and just ramble for like, there are videos where I do that, where I just wing it and ramble for like two hours or something. Like when I first started this, it, it, I struggled with like dead time, like not being able to like get my thoughts out and just like leaving the camera hanging for like 40 seconds without having anything to say. Uh, and I mean, that's not the case anymore. Um, I should keep doing this while I talk though. I just realized, um, I don't know. I, I should buy more disc plates. You know, I like making a new kind of set every time, but I only have like six of them. I want a Truman Show one. I think that would be cool. Um, I think an Evangelion one would be cool. I think a Blade Runner 2049 one would be pretty cool. The other thing, man, about this is uh, they start like falling off the wall. So that's like, that's super annoying. So yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of of the opinion like I need to pick something to do with this channel and just stick with it. Because if I keep bouncing around on things, no one's going to know what the fuck this channel is about, right? So I think it should be about movie reviews. I think that should be the main thing. But then all the people from my website are for game stuff. That's why the gaming content on this channel does so much better than everything else. Uh, it's, I, I don't really like advertise this channel on the website, although that is the plan. But like I said before, I don't think the product is quite there. But like, um, I don't know. All my social media channels are different. They all are trying to do something different. Like uh, the website, it's about video games. And then this channel is about movies. And <laughs> my Facebook, I don't even know what you would call that. It's like this ongoing, like, uh, fucking visual metaphor playlist Pinterest art collage thing dotted with insane impulsive essays about random topics. Uh, my Twitter is like basically just retweeting existentialist and futurist art and like uh, I don't know like George Carlin quotes and shit and like Bill Hicks stuff and probably promote this channel there as well. Um, I'm trying to take my like social media brand. Brand feels like the wrong thing. It's just your reputation online, right? It's just like how you present yourself. This is the way I view it. It's, it's like, I feel like every time you make content and you post it to one of these platforms, it's like you're telling the internet people, I'm still alive. I haven't been eaten by cats. And this is what I look like now or something to the, that effect. It's just, just proof that you like exist. Just like, you know, uh, going out in the world, you prove you exist by like going to parties and like making an appearance at like, you know, your cousin's birthday party and shit. This is just how you exist on the internet. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I kind of want to get more into comics. Like I have this thing. Okay. No one's gonna watch this, so I'm just gonna tell you my like villainous plan. I'm just, <laughs> just gonna lay it all out here. So like obviously part of it is that I want to create like a public persona, like an image, like you know uh, Donald Glover has Childish Gambino, or Claire Boucher has Grimes, or you know a lot of the people I look up to are these people like Hunter S. Thompson or uh, Andy Kaufman, or even like. Um, Paul, or, or John McAfee, uh, just th these people who both were storytellers and sort of like, I don't know what you could kind of call like poetic outlaws. It's, John McAfee doesn't quite fall into the same category, but, but people who like made a story out of their own lives or, or, or had this, this, 
public persona that they had fun with that was like a character in and of itself and it, it's, there's some confusion as to where the character begins and the actual person where the character ends and the person begins there's some confusion to that so there's obviously like part of it that is that and then there is this degree of like i was thinking like who's the audience for this i was thinking about it a lot and you know there is kind of this thing that like corporations do where they break it down into demographics or lately like psychometrics so like demographics like 18 to 34 year old men or whatever and then like psychometrics would be like people who this is what like facebook advertising does it's like people who like scott pilgrim will probably also like x y and z this thing um but i i, I don't know i have this list where it's like, who do I really want showing up for these things? So like, who's actually like the communities that I feel like I'm a part of? So it's like neurodivergent community. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Like, this is in no particular order, just the order I remember it. Um, nerd community, that's for sure. Uh, geek community, gamers. Although like that word, like as a member, of the gamer community, like, <laughs> what a what a fucking clown show, you know. Uh, it, it, I don't know this whole list, man. Like, autistic community, Asian American community, probably Irish community, Irish American community. movie watchers, gamers, especially JRPG community. Ah, oh, that would probably be number one, JRPG community. And we're talking not just this channel, but like holistically, my whole fucking being. Like who, who likes me? Like, uh, you know, if it was a politician, say you have like a Joe Biden, he's from Delaware, right? Delaware? He's from fucking Delaware. <laughs> Who is from Delaware? What a weird place to be from. There's nothing against Delaware people. But okay, so like, but anyway, that's the point. That's, that's like his like home turf, right? Uh, so like, what's my home turf? So it's gotta be RPG people, for fucking sure. Nerds, uh, fucking neurodivergent, psych ward people. I'm gonna say queer trans community, not that I am heavily embedded in that community but i mean like i don't know i'm a dude with long hair and sometimes dudes with confederate flags call me a fag out of their truck they go like fag and this happens oh no it's happened to me twice but uh <laughs> i mean you know it is it is what it is so who else man I, i'm missing i'm missing some stuff here but you get the point like just just the terms that i'm thinking about it in so I don't, that's might be why the other day I made like these like this these top five movies where one was like the top five cyborg movies, the top five autistic movies, the top five Asian American movies because I was that's when I had this idea of like who's the audience for this thing? I'm gonna target you know whoever is my who I feel who I feel is is like my my people here. Uh, so one of them is like the movie people like that Jeremy Johns, Chris Stuckman, Grace Randolph, that whole, that whole crowd, and the RPG people. I think that's the two main ones. And then we're getting into like this subcategory shit that's just like the socio-cultural groups that I'm a part of, like the neurodivergent thing and the et cetera. And then, um, yeah, man, I, I guess I also kind of feel like I, YouTube to me is also just like a form of self social media. It's just, it's not really that different to me than like Instagram or Facebook. And I mean, to what degree do we want to pretend that if you Google my name, you won't just find all of that. <laughs> you'll, you'll just, you'll find everything. So I try to make all the channels different. I try to make them about different things. And I feel like this is the one where I'm talking in person. So that's why I like it. Cause it's got this personal aspect to it. I like Facebook cause I'm a writer and you can write like a 2000 word essay on Facebook. Um, and I like all the like art accounts and stuff I follow on Facebook. That's why I like Facebook. And I like posting music videos there. I don't know why. It's just gonna be, I just love it. <laughs> it makes me feel like a DJ. I think that's the thing. I feel like I'm DJing the vibe of the internet. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's get into today's videos, I guess. I don't really have any more major updates than that. Let me think. Do I have anything else to say? Do I have anything else to say? I've been procrastinating a lot lately. That kind of sucks. Yeah, I lost a little bit of, like, viewership. A significant amount of viewership a couple of months ago. That sucked. Like, I'm okay. Like, but it was just... <laughs> What's funny is it was a stupid error that I caused myself. And at first, it was, like, a huge success. And then the failure crept in over time. And so, it was like, let's give it more time. Maybe it'll... No, I don't know. But yeah, that, that was a bit of a hurdle. Yeah, I think this is gonna be like this is just a tough year for everyone. This is kind of a struggle year, uh, or at least it is to me. Maybe I'm alone in that, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I try to be honest about where I'm at. All right. Last year, last year I was on a. Big winning streak, and I was talking a lot of shit. This year is a little more humbling, I think. All right, I'm gonna do the actual videos now. I'm gonna do some reviews and like talk about Star Wars games, I think. All right, cheers.